NADH dehydrogenase. So basically what's going to happen is these electrons are going to be passed right into the NADH dehydrogenase, which is the first main protein, and again, it's embedded right in your inner membrane of the mitochondria. So basically, as electrons are transferred to your NADH dehydrogenase, hydrogen ions are going to be pumped from one side, the side that they're on now, to the other side of the membrane. So basically, you have two electrons, that means that two hydrogen ions, I'll draw these right here, are going to be pumped through the NADH dehydrogenase to the other side. So just remember that. The first step is that NADH is going to give its electrons to this molecule called NADH dehydrogenase. As that happens, two hydrogen ions, and these, if I write H, might be a little bit easier. Two hydrogen ions are going to be passed through from this side to this side. So there are two little, you know, hydrogen ions right there. H plus. H plus. So after this, what's going to happen is, since this is called the electron transport chain, these electrons are going to move down to the next step. So let me pick, uh, I don't know, orange. I guess this is a good color. So the next thing that they do is they're going to be transferred to a molecule called ubiquinine. So this is you. So this is ubiquinine right here, and I'll draw the electrons from here. So basically, so far, our electrons went from the NADH, where they started, to NADH dehydrogenase, to the ubiquinine. Now, the ubiquinine is basically like a bus, and the electrons are its passengers. It's going to take it from the NADH dehydrogenase to another molecule, and this new molecule is called cytochrome BC1. So let me go ahead and draw this weird looking... They don't really look like this. I just want to draw them all a different shape. And this is called cytochrome B, and this is how you write it, B, C, with a 1. So now, of course, our electrons went from NADH dehydrogenase, got shuttled over by ubiquinine, and now they're in a molecule called cytochrome B, C, 1. So what did they do in cytochrome B, C, 1? Well, the first thing that they do is before they go to the next complex, we need to take note that as these electrons, and I might as well draw them, as these electrons right here are about to go on to the next step right here, your hydrogen ions are going to pretty much do the same thing that they did in the first thing because your hydrogen ions are want to be paired with your electrons. So what's going to happen is that one hydrogen ion for each electron is going to be attracted to this and then once it leaves it's going to be shuttled through to the other side. So again just remember that two more hydrogen ions if we're working with two electrons it's going to be one hydrogen ion for each electron is going to be pumped to the other side. So H plus H plus and actually we end up with a ton of hydrogen ions over here because you know in our cells there aren't just two electrons, there's actually a lot of electrons, but basically remember that now your electrons are in the cytochrome BC1. Well, what's the next step? Well, the next step is that they need to get shuttled to over to another complex called the cytochrome oxidase, and let me go ahead and draw that right now. I'll draw this uh, dark red, I get. No, 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 can't draw dark red, purple, that's what I'm looking for. So this right here, Actually, let me draw it down a little bit further. I want to make this diagram freaking perfect. So this right here that looks like a purple hot dog bun <laughs> is actually called cytochrome oxidase. So see? Nice M. And this is the next molecule that the electrons are headed over. But how do they get over there from the cytochrome BC1 to the cytochrome oxidase? Well, what they do is they need to take another bus, and this bus is actually called cytochrome C, and I'm running out of colors here. So this bus is actually called cytochrome C, let me draw a little arrow right here, and again, 
You see how ubiquinine took two electrons at a time, or multiple electrons? Cytochrome C isn't as a sophisticated bus as ubiquinine. Cytochrome C can only handle one passenger at a time, one electron at a time. So it's basically going to go back and forth between cytochrome BC1 and cytochrome oxidase and pick up one electron at a time and shuttle them over to cytochrome oxidase. So now we have all of these electrons in cytochrome oxidase. What happens next? 